yellow again. Now I will replace the lining of this leather bag. The lining must be made of durable fabric, not like this one. Take the seam ripper and remove the old lining. This is the old lining. Does it look quality made? Is Dr. Levine involved with the manufacturing of this pack? Now place it on top of the fabric which you will make the new one and cut a piece that is a little bit larger than the old lining. I'm measuring with my fingers, but you can be more precise, so make it about 2 cm bigger. Now cut one more piece with the same dimensions. I'm using denim fabric because it's very durable. Use a ruler to measure the size of the pocket then add 2 cm and mark it onto the fabric. Measure the width of the pocket, again add 2 cm and cut out the piece. You should repeat the same steps to cut the piece for the bigger pocket. So now you should have two big pieces for the lining itself and two smaller ones for the pockets. The denim fabric tends to fry a lot so you must finish the edges. I'm using my favorite overlock. If you don't have an overlock, you can sew zigzag stitches around the edges. The fabric should not be stretchy so the threads won't break.
If you have the same overlock, you can stick a magnet or a magnetic seam guide in front of the knife to help you sew straight. And the last piece. Use a mending needle to pull the threads into the seams. Also you can make knots and cut the threads short but if you leave them hanging or cut them, the seam will unravel. It's a straightforward thing to do but if you want to see it in detail you can check my video on this topic. I decided to use the zipper from the old lining because it is working, so I will unpick the seam. Place the big pieces for the lining facing each other and fold them in half. Then use an iron to mark the middle. Using a ruler, I'm measuring the size of the hole and its position. It's 5 cm above the edge. I will add one more cm to this 5, so I will mark the fabric at 6 cm from the edge. The size of the zipper's hole must be exact, it's 2 cm.
now cut the hole of the zipper. I made a mistake and cut it the wrong way, so see the image to cut it correctly. One centimeter before the end of the hole you should make the diagonal cuts. Then the triangular pieces will go towards the inside and won't be visible. By the way, the zipper must be at least 3 cm longer than the hole. Attach the zipper to the fabric using pins. The right side of the zipper must be facing the right side of the fabric. Change the presser foot with the one for zippers and sew the zipper. Now sew the zipper ends to prevent them from splitting. This will be the last step. If you cut the hole correctly, you must sew the zipper ends and the triangular pieces together. Be careful and sew slowly because you can break the needle. Push the zipper through the hole and take the bigger fabric piece. Carefully align and attach them to the other side of the hole. The pocket piece must be facing down, towards the wrong side of the lining. 
So here you can see better the folded piece of the hole, the zipper and the pocket piece. Place your finger in front of the presser foot so you can feel the zipper. When the zipper is close to the presser foot, lower the needle, raise the presser foot and close it. Then continue sewing. Now to close the pocket sew around the piece. Because I cut the hole the wrong way, I will use zigzag stitches on both sides of the zipper first and then I will sew the pocket. When you cut the hole for the zipper correctly, the triangular pieces will hide the edges of the fabric near the zipper ends. When you're sewing the straight stitches to close the pocket, the zipper must be halfway open. So, the figure pocket is ready. Now fold the sides of the small fabric piece and use an iron to press them down. So a straight line on the fold of the top side. Using a ruler, measure the position of the pocket from the edge of the lining, then add one centimeter and mark it onto the fabric piece.
fold the small pocket in half and press it with iron to mark the middle. Then align the middle of the pocket with the middle of the fabric piece and sew around the edges. Yay, the small pocket is also ready! Now I will mark the middle on the big pieces again. Place them facing each other or with the right sides together. Then sew them together using straight stitches, but don't close the top part. The bottom of the lining is not even so I decided to pass it again on the overlock. Then I will press the side seams open. Now fold the top edge of the lining with 1 cm. Press it down with an iron and sew it. I usually start the seams from the sides, 
Make sure the side seams are open before sewing. You can use a magnetic seam guide, it is very helpful for hems. Note how the side seams are pressed open. And the lining is ready. The last thing we should make is to attach the lining to the back. Insert the lining inside the back. The bigger pocket must be on the back side of the back. Align the side seams with the sides of the back and attach them using sewing clips. Then rotate the back, align the middle and the back pieces and fix them using clips. Place more clips between the placed ones. Now the sewing part. Try to align the needle so the new seam is on top of the previous.
It looks very good so far. Now we should fold the sides and sew them. So it looks like this. It's like a new one. If you follow this tutorial, I will be happy to see your pictures of before and after in the comments or you can post them on my Facebook page.